Hello and welcome back to Portal 2. My name is Zaid and this is the second to last episode going through all of my chambers. And today we're going to touch on probably my most creatively difficult chamber I've ever made and probably the chamber I'm most proud of, which is OS X 10.6, which has a double meaning. The Apple OS 10.6 is Snow Leopard. And as my icon is a Snow Leopard, especially on Steam, it might not eventually be on my YouTube profile, but for the moment, it is. It has this double meaning. Let's get into this chamber to just see how really interesting it is. And here we are in OS X 10.6. Now, if you're the type who really likes a challenge, I would highly advise, if you own Portal 2, playing this chamber beforehand and seeing if you can solve it, because this is probably the most difficult puzzle I've ever made, and I am very proud of it because of that. It is a laser puzzle, which to some might seem annoying, but I love this one so much. So right off the bat, there is a laser receiver over there that we need to redirect a laser into. If you don't know it's over there, you could obviously portal over there because there is a platform there. Or you could just use the window portal trick, where you look through a portal to view your surroundings. Now we can move over to this platform, which has a cube as well. Now what we need to do is either get the cube that was up over there, or the cube that's up over here. I think you can actually get either from this point. I could be wrong, but I think you can get either. But I always get this one over here first, to the left of the entrance. But what we're going to need to do is put a laser into here and a laser into here. And lasers will enter receivers at pretty much any angle, except for really flat on. So now we just need to set this one up. I like putting it there. That'll work, I think. And this chamber, does a, you have to do a lot of re-portaling. Basically, you have to give up your portals for a time being in order to get back over there, and then put this portal back so that everything works out. So we can do one of two things. We can either make this light bridge again, or we could put a portal down here and just walk through it. But I'm just going to make the light bridge again. Right there. Okay. There's a lot of... Uh, jump rope, or jump laser, on this map as well. Now one thing I think that's very important for this map is that all of the signage is still in the chamber. Because a lot of the times I get rid of signage and stuff for different reasons. But in this one I think it's pretty much ne necessary that it's all here. Come on, there we go. So now, we have this light bridge, and we can receive this cube. Nice. Now this is going to be important, but it's not really important right now. The next cube we need to get is that one. So we need the dot and moon. This is dot, and this is moon. Now all of these have at least one ant line going to them, so you know where all the receivers are. It's kind of a trick I did. It definitely doesn't make the chamber look nice, but, you know, for information's sake, I thought it was necessary. So now what we need to do is, well, we first probably should rearrange this cube. We need to put a portal over here. And we need to re rearrange all everything, so this laser goes into here, and that laser goes into there. So with just a slight turn, we've got that one done. And now if we create this bridge again, we can go back and do the other one. I think that's turned on? Is that? No, I, guess, I don't think it's turned on. Another thing, it lets you know when these are turned on and when they're not. There we go. Wait, what's going on? 
I am confused. See, that one's going into the moon one. This is the one that should be going into the moon one. Hmm. Oh, no, never mind. I'm being silly. We want this one on. And then, there we go. And we've also created this while we freed this new laser. Dun dun dun. Now we get a new cube. Now, warning, do not just walk forward with this cube. If you hit that laser, it's gonna be your death. So now we have the cube on this side. Now we have all the pieces to solve this puzzle. It might not seem like it, but we do. Now this chamber was designed based on another chamber that Valve actually made in the campaign. And what Valve did was they had three lasers going through a single set of portals to unlock some doors. And that is what we're trying to do here as well. I think I can get this to work. Actually, I know I have to be able to get this to work, so... The thing about portals, as I've stated before, is they're actually rectangles. I know it looks like, a, uh, like an oval, but as long as you're within this limit and that limit, things will still go through them. They kind of have to be, so you can easily walk through them and stuff. Otherwise you'd be bumping on the sides. So now we need to get back over to the other side and do some rearranging, but we also need to do something down here. Now, you might have not figured this out when you got to this part of the chamber, but you can always go back and do this later. I like to do it now, just so it's out of the way. Since we're going to have a straight laser coming out of there, it's going to come out of there, and it's going to hit this cube. So obviously we need that to go into this receiver. And now let's get back over there. I'm just going to completely unportal. Because why not? And then re-portal that. And then re-portal that. And now we just need to reorientate this into a different one. But you don't see anything from there. That's why you need the fourth cube. Position that one correctly, and then we just need to turn this one around to solve the chamber. Yep. A nice, elegant, single solution chamber. Where three lasers, this one, this one, and that one, all end up going through the same portal, exiting on the other end, and hitting three laser receivers, including one that's around a corner. I love this chamber. It's definitely one of the favorite ones I've ever done. Do 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 limbo. Anyway. So yeah, this is the second to last episode too. I know that might be sad, but I've got other things planned. Especially when certain games decide to finally come out, but you know, it's neither here nor there. Well anyway, I will see you on the last episode of this, or on Fallout 4, or whatever happens next, tomorrow. But for now, I've been Zade, this has been OSX 10.6, bye now.